So I know a lot of women have told me that they feel that squirting is a myth. I used to be one of them. I am reformed. Can you tell us a little bit more from a clinical perspective about that? Well, absolutely. You know, first of all, there are women who think that squirting is urine. There may be some urine in, in squirting, mm -hmm. but I can prove scientifically easily, and I've done this, <laughs> that squirting is real. I've had women pee on urine strips, mm -hmm. measure the pH, empty their bladder, have sex, squirt, take another one of those urine strips, mm -hmm. put it down in the squirt, yeah. you know, the wet spot, wherever they've squirted, compare those pHs, they're gonna be completely different. Huh. Completely, completely different. As a urologist, we do things with what we call cystoscopes to look in the bladder. Mm -hmm. Well, during that procedure, you oftentimes get peed on, peed in the face. <laughs> oh, so as every urologist has tasted pee ever since they started urology, it's just part of what we do. Yeah. Well, the difference in taste of pee and squirt is night and day. Yeah. I mean, you can taste the difference. The color's different. The pH is different. Ah, good. We have this thing. So this is an anatomic reference to a clitoris. And if you see the um, anatomic model of a, of a penis, it's the exact same thing, except this part's much longer, the penis part that we, you know, this is the clitoris that we think about. Well, when I'm giving talks, I tell people that we all start out embryologically the same, basically. Yeah. Women have breasts, men have breasts, but men's breasts aren't as developed as females. Women have ovaries, men have testicles, but the testicles started exactly where women's ovaries are. And then the men's testicles descended down to the scrotum. So they started up here, just like in a female. Huh. All right. The clitoris and the penis are mm -hmm. identical. I mean, they're synonymous. But men have a prostate. And I ask the audience, I'll go, where's a woman's prostate? And people look at me. I go, because we all started the same. It didn't just go away in a female. What it is, is the skein's glands in the G-spot of a female mm -hmm are the remnants of a prostate. If you huh. took a biopsy of the yeah. skin's glands, it would look exactly like benign prosthetic tissue. Now, what is an ejaculate? Men's spooge. 95% of men's ejaculate comes from the prostate. That's why when your guy got his vasectomy, you wondered why you weren't swallowing any less because it's, the testicles only make up three to 5%. The rest comes from the prostate. Females have the skin's glands, which are like the prostate, and therefore capable of ejaculation. 95% of the men's ejaculate is from the prostate. Yeah. So that's, that's another reason why to prove that squirting can be real, because women have the same anatomy that men have. It's just mm -hmm. not as developed. Like our breasts are not as developed as your right. breasts, but we have the same parts. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that there's any credibility to the to maybe muscle memory in, in being able to squirt or engage in that for the first time for, for a female or? Absolutely. I mean, um, women can learn to squirt. We've seen that. I mean, yeah. I, I guess I can say it on this one because I've damn taught a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. So would you say that's something you recommend kind of trying out with a partner, independent work first to kind of get a lay of the land or placement? You know, well, I'm always a fan of with a partner, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, and, and there are guys that make their ability very well known that they are very good at helping a woman learn how to squirt. Yeah. Um, there's this one guy that on the trip that we were on that, you know, very popular because I mean, basically women lined up and he just went down the line and-, and Really? Did he have like a massage table story. with him or? Yeah, yeah, true story. <laughs> wow. And just like six different girls and, and he would get them squirting. I'm like going, okay, how the fuck did you do that? It takes me 30 minutes to get her to squirt. Yeah. And he, his name's Steve. And he huh. could go up and within 10 seconds, squirt every one of them. Wow. Boom. Steve have a card? <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so we're talking female squirting. Uh -huh. Let's say you're wanting to rock your partner's world, your man. What would be go-tos? Are there anything that we might be missing? Because you've kind of shown us erogenous zones here that maybe have not been given enough attention. Well, okay, women have a G-spot. Mm -hmm. Where's the man's G-spot? That's his prostate. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, there are a lot of guys that the idea of a finger in their anus or on their prostate, you know, is something that that's a no-go zone, but then right. a lot of guys that have 
you know, found out how erogenous that can be. Because just as right. women like their G-spot manipulated, mm -hmm. a lot of men like their prostate manipulated because the prostate and the G-spot are the same damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if a woman wants to be, you know, adventuresome yeah. and, and show her man a new time yeah. if, he, if she hasn't done it before. Okay. So if, you know, just treat. What's, treat a, gen what's a gentle approach in this? Yeah, uh, a come hither. <laughs> um, but okay. just treat the prostate the way you'd lock, you want your G-spot treated. I you like don't want that. your G spot. Some women might like it slammed, but most yeah. women like a, you know a more subtle um, yeah. motion. So think about the prostate that way. Okay. Do you feel that men are more? Because I guess from a female perspective, typically when something feels great, you know, the man when you give good feedback, it's like it gets harder and faster, and it's like don't change a thing. Yeah. Don't oh God, yeah. Change a thing. I, that's what I told my son. <laughs> the minute you start hearing "Oh yes, oh yes," don't yeah. stop. Then you better remember what the hell you're doing. Because right. you don't want to change your cadence. You don't want to change your intensity. Um, yeah. 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 Fair, fair. So for men, would that be grunting or what's your... Oh, um... What do you mean? Oh, I'm kidding. It's a yeah. terrible... No. You just, you know, <laughs> no, you, you just got to be lucky to have a, a, a partner that's giving you feedback. Huge. Because that's... Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, but the same daggone female... We have different words um, in, 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 in my, the relationship that I'm in right now where we call it um, Susie's what was what she has named her um, area. Oh. But I'll have to ask, are we doing soft Susie or hard Susie? Because sometimes <laughs> she wants it you know, yeah. slow and gentle and sensual, right. and sometimes she wants it See the mood for a different cuisine? Yeah. 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 Oh, gosh. But yeah. you never know. Yeah. And, and, it, and it can be the same thing within an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so true. I think if, if it's if you feel comfortable enough to just say what you want or what you like, mm -hmm. it can open up so much more. And rather than waiting until you mm -hmm. get years down the line and it's like, let me shake things up. Yeah. Why not try along the way? And then um, let me tell you another thing that we've been doing in our office that um, our vaginal laser mm -hmm. is phenomenal. So we have a, a laser that uses uh, um, energy that we place into the vagina. And what it's going to do is it's first of all, it's going to make the vaginal tissues stronger and younger and, and, and improve the blood flow. That, so what does this do? This increases lubrication crazy. Mm. I mean, crazy. But it also tightens it. I mean, very much so. And so I, I can remember um, um, one of the females telling a story about how um, um, she had been on a, a, a trip where lots of different partners were involved and, and how, you know, she was so proud of the fact that she heard from no less than four different men how wet and tight mm. her vagina was. And a compliment from a man, too, is so rare that yeah. that one, I'm, yeah. I'd be thoroughly Four different <laughs> men. I went, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah but she was proud to tell me. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>